Hello everyone, I'm Woman International Master Canaric and I'm using the chesswithcanaric.com website to record this video. Now uh, we will analyze this position where again we are using the concept of Zuzwang in order to um, checkmate our opponent. It's true that we're at the end of the game. Uh, it's not uh, easy usually to end the games in the checkmate in end games, but uh, here Okay, because uh, the reason is that the Black King is on the edge of the chessboard and is almost trapped and has not many moves to do and our King is close and uh, can help with the checkmate then um, we can try to aim to checkmate in this position. Now, uh, for us to checkmate here, of course our Rook should be able to check. So I'm guessing I need to check from A1, which makes our first move quite obvious, which is uh, rook to h1. So our next threat is rook h1 checkmate. Now how can black defend? Uh, pushing the pawn forward is not going to help because uh, because it's still checkmate. Okay. Uh, how about moving away the bishop? Again it's not going to help because it's still checkmate and trying to block is useless as well because that's just delaying the checkmate but not stopping it. Uh, so, what else can black try? Okay, black can, can try to uh, block our check when we, when we check. So, uh, they can play king to a5, so that when our rook checks, they can block with their bishop. Now the checkmate has stopped, and here in this position, if it was exactly the same position, but white, but black's turn, this would have been a stalemate, because uh, none of the... None of the black pieces move here, no legal moves for black, that's going to be a stalemate. So which also means that in this position, if white doesn't change much, let's say plays a move like rook to a3, this is going to be a stalemate. So going back, then how should white put black in a stalemate in a way, uh, put, put, put black in a zugzwang in a way that we will be able to checkmate next? taking advantage of the fact that this king is now completely trapped and has no moves to do. All we need to do is a check, right, in this position. But how to check? Now, again, whenever I, I show this position to uh, in my different classes, so students often try, let's say, moving away the rook, because if we move away the rook, then here the bishop has to move away, then we can check, but then the bishop comes back. So that doesn't work, right? So moving away along the A file, uh, along the, uh, the first rank is not going to work because no matter where we move to, it doesn't matter. The bishop can just move away and when we move back, the bishop comes back. And also we said rook A3 is a stalemate. So, how about moving our king? Now, moving our king does put black in a zugzwang. In which way? For example, if we move our king to C4, here the bishop doesn't move, the pawns don't move, so the black king must move, and in a way, that is leaving the black bishop on a4 hanging, which means that black king is going to move away, we're going to win that bishop. Of course, it's going to be easy for, for white to win this, capture the pawns, and, and win this. So, uh, moving away, our king does put black in the one and because, okay, what, no matter what black will play, we will win the bishop and win the game, of course, because of that. But, going back... Uh, Okay, but the idea is that we want to play a move that, that the second move is definitely checkmate. We, we want to put black in a zugzwang in a way that our second move will definitely be checkmate. And what can the move be there if it's not a king move? Because, okay, let's say we tried this move and uh, it was winning because black is moving to b6. Now, how about if we try moving somewhere else, let's say away? But then black doesn't even lose the bishop. Black can just stay with the bishop and that's uh, gonna be even such a very long game uh, if uh, even we're going to win this with white. So going back, we tried moving the rook along the a5, uh, around the first rank, sorry. We tried moving our king. The best move was uh, c4 but that didn't checkmate, it won the bishop. Uh, and we tried rook a3, that was stalemate. So what's left? What's left in this position to play? How can we put black in the one to checkmate on the next move? This is very interesting and it's a quite a famous position and um, a very nice move to find. Uh, so here the move is going to be rook to a2 because here when black has no moves at all to play, 
their only remaining move is going to be to accept our sacrifice with no other other options and here how can we checkmate black in one move we can just push our pawn and checkmate with our pawn so we took advantage of the fact that the black king is stuck and has no moves at all in order to be able to checkmate in this position now going back uh, okay so what can we uh, what can we conclude from this position is that uh, first of all if our opponent's king uh, is on the edge of the chessboard we can always consider finding ways to checkmate and uh, especially when the king is stuck and has absolutely no moves to do like it happened here here the king has no moves to do so all we need to do is find a check right and uh, in this case it came with a with a, a sacrifice that was our move that put black in his own and uh, in other positions it can be different ways but but this is how we, we have to train our minds to notice such things as our opponent's king being on the edge of the chessboard. How can I take advantage of that if our opponent's king is completely, um, has no moves at all, right? 